Bible says. Those who water should be watered. I mean, we have labored in the Lord's vineyard. And we are expected to reap the fruit of our labor from his vineyard. Yes. Yes, my brother. And that is why the pastor has asked me to approve the sum of 100,000 naira for each and every member of this committee. What? Yes, 100,000 naira. This church realized 8.5 million naira during the last harvest. Yes. And we all know that almost all of us here bought for what over 100,000 naira. To run the affairs of this church during the last harvest. And what is this 100,000 naira? Uh, brother, please. Come, it's not fair. Brother, it's not fair. please. Let us not quarrel over this issue. Because I know and believe that God has made a firm promise to bless all those who labor in his vineyard. Yes. But that is why in the book of Psalm chapter 1 verse 3, God has said that we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the waters that brings forth its fruit in its season. Its leaves shall not wither. But whatever he does shall prosper. No, uh, look, but John, please go and tell Pastor that 100,000 naira is an insult to his parishioners. Hmm. It's an insult. I mean, we are not beggars for God's sake. Eh? We labored to get this church to the level it is today. And as such, we deserve to reap from what we sold. Um, please, fellow parishioners, I believe Pastor Gideon is in a better position to explain this 100,000 Naira issue. Yes, Sister Esther, we will tell him that we, the members of this church committee, will not accept this money. Okay, if you say so. If you don't send one to comply appropriately, then we can say to your tent, O Israel. When you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one. I will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God. Surprise you what the Lord has done. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for this food. We ask you to bless and pray that this food will nourish our body, even as your word nourishes our soul. And where the devil may rise against us, Father, we cast, we bind, and destroy in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In thank Jesus' you, mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Ah. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good day, sir. Sir, you met us well. Why don't you join us at the table, sir? Mr. Paul, I'm not here for such frivolous things. Where is my money? I've come to take my money. Uh, sir, I, I honestly beg you to give me one week. I promise to pay within the week, sir. You mean you, you mean what? Paul, I don't take such excuses. How can you be dining with your family when you know you are owing me, Paul? Have I done anything wrong to accommodate you in my house as a tenant? Tell me if I've done anything wrong. No, no. Is that why you should throw away our breakfast? Uh, do you have to insult me because I'm owing you? Do you have to throw away my son's food on his table? I will do worse things if you fail to pay me in two days' time. Let me tell you, Paul. Useless churchgoers. Follow my words and don't follow my actions. Let me see you in two days' time. If you fail to pay. Thank you 
even in the midst of all these problems, because you are a father of impossibilities and father of all possibilities. We say, may glory and honor be ascribed to your name in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Brethren, I am surprised at this issue of 100,000 naira and how it came about. I did not approve any 100,000 naira to anybody. And I will certainly not approve it. But Pastor. Yes, Brosina. I'm confused. Brother John said that you approved the same amount. Yes, and that all the members of the, of the committee should have that as gratification for, for, for the effort during the harvest. Robertson's gratification? Exactly. Why would I do such a thing? Brethren, are we forgetting something here? That we are all servants in the Lord's own vineyard. And that the Lord himself will release a bountiful harvest to us. Because he is the rewarder of they that diligently serve him. I will not do such a thing like that. Well, Pastor, you're right. But if I may ask, what is this said 100,000 meant for? Thank you, Sister Esther. And once again, thank you for that question. Now, brethren, listen to me. The men's Christian fellowship of this church provided the sum of 100,000 naira to enable us to effect some repairs to the church before the said harvest. That we have done. And let me tell you something. This 100,000 naira is not a gift. It is a loan which we must certainly pay back. So, <laughs> there's nothing for us, Pastor. <laughs> Bro, Matt, it's like I said before, nothing for anybody. And I will certainly not approve anything. Well, in that case, we shall go. Sister Esther, let's go. Well, um, I would like to have a word with Pastor Gideon, if you don't mind. worried. All of us can't be wrong. I mean, all of us heard Brother John correctly. We can't be dreaming. So what is it you say about not approving anything? Just like I said before the brothers left, I did not approve anything. Sister Esther, you remember Brother Martins? During the last September, Harvest gave the church an amiable two million naira donation. I'm aware of that. It was for praising God because of the male child God gave him, isn't it? After several years of marriage. And then why this issue of one hundred thousand naira stuff? Honestly, if you ask me, I think it's sheer greed. Nothing more. A mere one hundred thousand naira. What? Well, I just sincerely. Hope he does not end the way Elisha's servant Gehazi ended. Exactly. Gehazi was a greedy and avaricious servant to his master Elisha. Of course, he paid daily when the Almighty God inflicted him with leprosy. I mean, Naaman's leprosy. <laughs> Sister Esther, well done. Thank I you, thank Master. God that you read your Bible in between lines. Glory be to God. That's why we are Christians. Amen. Amen. Shall we say a word of prayer before you join them? We thank you, Father, patient of the days. The church belongs to you. And I know you are taking care of your church. We pray that you keep blessing us. Look, Brother Matthew, I'm confused. I don't know whom to believe now. Whether Pastor Gideon or Brother John. But I'm confused. I can smell a rot. Really? But assume yes. somebody's hand is in this thing. I'm telling you, I suspect Sister Esther. I suspect her so much. Sister Esther cannot sabotage us. She equally needs the money. Can't you see? She needs the money. Oh, how are you sure that Pastor is not going to compensate her? They are very close. Rumor has it that, that they are even lovers now. Jesus. They are lovers. No. Pastor Gideon is a happily married man. He cannot get himself into such scandal. How can he? The wife has traveled for a long time now. 
Yes, I know. Uh -huh. She has gone for some purchases. So overseas. The overseas. Yes. And it is her that Sister Esther is the one cooking for the pastor. That is the in-house, the in-house cook now. And they are saying, yeah, pastor is very responsible. Brother Martin, even if Sister Esther cooked for the pastor, I don't see anything wrong in that. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Sorry, I said uh, Sorry for wasting your time. And let us forget, Sister Esther. Please don't forget what I asked you to bring for me before the next midweek service. Oh. Very, very important. But Pastor, uh, we'll be running now. It's okay, we'll brothers. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Okay, you have a lovely weekend. Thank you very much. Right, bye, bye bye. Children, what's keeping you? Are you not ready yet? How are you? Mm. What about you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Amaka. Yes, mommy. I want you people to pay attention in school. Come back home as soon as class is over, okay? Yes, mom. I don't want you to saw your uniform. Yes, mom. <laughs> no rough play. Yes, mom. All right, good. Don't play too much football. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we don't have time anymore. All right, let's go. Let's go. Not 50. Move it! Alright, we will. Number 50? Yeah, just take it easy, gentlemen. We shall take you people. I want to go down to Lisa so that she will buy me chocolate. Don't go. Remember what mommy said. Mommy said that we should not go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Oh. No, I will go. I will Don't go, go anywhere. I will go. I to go. Don't go anywhere. Don't go. It wasn't my fault. Why did you try to It was a mistake, boss.
I'm very sorry, sir. It's because of the pressing need that I have. My landlord is on my neck. I know the people are going to want some money. And my, I need to take listen, care of my Listen, car. listen, Look, I pay I, you next month. I don't have money. I don't have money. Ah, sir, please. I'm begging you, sir, in the name of God, sir. Because even now, they're trying to arrest me with police. And I cannot return to police for Allah, sir. I'm begging you, sir. Please. Each time I come, they say you travel, sir. You, you travel often. Listen, so, this is 50,000 naira. And don't come to worry me the next month. I pay you next month. Sir, this... this Chasing our son John with a knife. To My kill. own son? Yes, to kill him. That was not all. The man was saying that he must kill John the way Jesus Christ was killed. God, may our ancestors forbid that. I like eh? No. I must go and see John. I must this go is a John. bad dream. It's a very bad dream. Yes, it is indeed. It is a bad dream. <sighs> I hope all is well with my son. Should anything happen to John and the family, Nani, eh? I will die. I will just no, die. No, no. Don't I... talk like that. I assure you that nothing will happen to John. And you will not die. You will not die. I will now prepare, take my bath, and go by the first bus. I must go and see John. Nani, hurry. While I prepare a little breakfast for Please you. Please do. Hey! 
Kanga John. No. no. Kanga John. Brother John, it is a pity the cold hands of death had to visit your family at a time like this. Please take heart. Pastor, Be a man. Pastor, Pastor. Why must it be me? Why? Who have I offended? Eh? My source of happiness and hope wiped out in a twinkle of an eye? No. Something must be wrong somewhere. And I need explanation as regards these events. I need to know why these things are happening to me. Brother John, please, don't talk like that. Everything will be all right. Brother John, it will be all right. Yes, it will be well. Remember that Job was an upright man. God himself testified that. Yet God allowed Satan, the devil, to tempt him. Job lost virtually everything God gave to him. And yet he remained firm in his faith. My brother, all things work together to bring good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. Please take heart. Oh, Papa. Welcome. Welcome, sir. Oh, welcome, sir. What is happening here? Papa, they are gone. Who are gone? My children. What happened to my grandchildren? John. I just can't explain it. Amaka, Uloma, okay, were hit by bullets fired by some criminals on their way back from school. I just can't explain why these things were happening. The truth is that we're just coming back from their burial at the church cemetery. Hello, abomination. You mean that you buried my grandchildren without telling me? Without telling any of our kids, man, John, what has come over you, my son? Confused. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. Emilio, I will not hear this alone. I'm going right now back to the village. No, 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 no. You, you, you wouldn't do that. Papa, please come back. Please. Come. Come. Don't. Brother John here. He's very confused. Please. It is not time to apportion blame to anybody. It is nobody's fault. Please, sit down. I don't think I can accommodate this for a long summer. I must get to the village now. the contract on the grounds that we are not of the same party. Uh, but how can he say that? No, wait a minute. How can he say that? When our previous performance in our past jobs have been rated high by the supervisory committee. Oh, 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 oh. So he now wants us to belong to the same political party before we can work. Come on, this is just sheer madness. I'm telling you. I heard from a reliable source. 
that he had influenced the contract to be awarded to his friend's company. Oh, God. But why should God allow this to happen to me? Why? Leaving us. I and my family prayed and fasted for this contract to be approved. I just don't know why. Why, why should God sit on his throne and allow his children to suffer in the hands of charlatans? Why? Don't be dejected. God promised never to leave or forsake us. One day, he must remember us. Meanwhile, I'm leaving. Okay. To remember and lift me from my state of poverty. <laughs> when will that be? Oh God, when will that be? I intend to go to the village to see Papa and also see the elders. Explain things further to them. Because I don't really understand why Papa should feel the way he felt about our tragedy and left in anger. All right. Just take things easy with them when you get to the village. Papa is right to be very angry with us, you know. Only God knows why this tragedy should be full of us. I don't know. Yeah, it's coming. Kenneth. Doing here? I mean, Papa just left yesterday, so common sense should tell you that I'm not in the mood to discuss your school fees now. But I'm not here for my school fees or accommodation fees. I see. So why are you here? Or oh, haven't you heard that I lost my three kids? Lost my three children? Haven't you heard? Brother, well, you mean your three children are missing? What? They are not missing. They are dead. Papa left here yesterday very angry. So I'm going to the village to see him, to explain things further to him, and then to see the elders too. Well, Papa is dead! Dad. What? Papa is dead. Papa is dead? <laughs> when? How? Where? Papa well, just left here yesterday. He's dead. How come? He died in a road accident while coming back from your house. <laughs> so, brother, brother, our king's men have decided that you and at least should come home immediately. Brother, you're going with me. Brother, let's go. Let's go now. This, what is this? Oh my gosh. John, we summoned you and your wife to tell us what happened to your father, Mazi Amadi, and his grandchildren. Hmm? Elders of our kindred, I greet you all. The truth is that. I don't just understand what you're talking about. Yes. John, what we are talking about is that you have a hand in the death of your father and your children. Hey! My husband! <laughs> oh, my son! No. That's not true! How do you want to convince us? That you did not use your father and your children for money rituals? Elders, uh, elders, elders, how can you even think about such horrible thing? I am a Christian. I'm not capable of such things. In fact, it even baffles me why these temptations are coming to me now. I'm baffled. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. John, we can't be deceived by your rehearsed preference. You must swear an oath. Yes. I am a born-again Christian. We are forbidden such practices. The Bible does not allow born-again Christians to swear to any oath. Not with heaven, 
because that is the above of the Most High God, not with the earth. That is the Lord's footstool, not even with a strand of our hair, because we do not have the power to make even a strand of our hair grow an inch longer. But I still maintain that I do not have a hand whatsoever in the death of either my father or my children. Thank you. Okay, if you cannot swear, then wash yourself with the water from your father's corpse. Eh? Yes. From your father's corpse. Give me. But if you are innocent, wash yourself with the water. <laughs> Bring the water! Ah. Keep it on the table. Wash yourself with the water. Born again, Christian. Blood of Jesus, take control. It's also very tragic that we lost three of our children so soon. Well, we leave everything to God. Our kinsmen accused me of using Papa and our children for money-making rituals. Anyway, like I said, only God knows the best. I have fulfilled the demands of tradition by using the same water which they used in washing Papa's dead body wash my own body, just to exonerate myself from this diasporous allegation. I know the God we worship. This same God we worship, he doesn't sleep. I'll leave it at that. It was a pity that Papa died in a motor accident while returning from your house to the village. Besides, Mama said he had a terrible dream before leaving for your house. Brother, we're sorry. Okay, please. Please, it is okay, my sons. It is okay. I want you people to know that I'm now a widow. I look up to you for survival. Mama, huh? don't worry. Mm -hmm. Everything will be fine. We'll always come down to see you. Okay? Yes, we'll always come to see you, Mama. Yeah. Mama, this is 20,000 hey. naira. Just manage it. Send your money. Manage it. Thank you. Kenneth, don't stay too long in this village. Remember your school. Don't trust anybody you see around here. Some of them will come pretending as if they love Papa more than we, his sons, did. Don't trust them. On your way back to school, stop by the house. 
Okay. All right, brother. I will not forget. Okay. Thank you. Bye. So, okay. Baba, we have to. We have to be. Save money. May God guide you as you keep on going. Be careful. I will. Brother, save John. Uh huh. Okay. Baba. That means uh, in the next two weeks we should be going home again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Daddy, watch, 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 watch. Yes! you handle the affairs of the shop when madame is not around? Okay, I am afraid. We came this morning and discovered that madame's shop and the rest of the shop in the land has been raised by fire. What? Are you serious? Madame's yes, shop is completely raised down by fire? Yes, sir. Oh, God. God, what is this? What is going on? Lizzie is in the hospital. My children sent to their early graves by bullets. My father perished in a road accident. And now this. Why? Why? I, my head. Okay, okay, okay. Please, take, take it easy. It's not the end of the world. Everything will be okay. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Good evening. Ah, very well. Papa, how are you? Yes. You're welcome. Please, do sit down. You are looking so dejected. Are you okay? But what can I do for you? Uh, Martins? Actually, that's why I'm here. I, I am sorry I had to budget on you, but... 
I guess I have no other place to go to. That's why I came to ask you for some financial assistance. Sometimes I wonder if God is partial. Otherwise, why does he allow all these ungodly people to continue to prosper and progress, leaving his own servants to suffer in penury? It's about my daughter. My only daughter. She was almost electrocuted. She's in severe shock right now and we might lose her. She's in the hospital. And they've asked me to go and look for money, which I don't have. And she will not be treated if I don't pay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for that. I sympathize with you for your daughter. Well, Papa, God is not partial. Hmm? So how much do you think that can take care of your problem? a check of hundred thousand. Brother Martins. Brother Martins. Don't worry. Is it God has enriched people like us so that we can take care of all people? Brother Martins. Brother Martins. Brother Martins. Don't worry. Brother Martins. Don't worry. Uh, just use it to settle your financial difficulties. Okay. Thank you. Just do. When you are true, can't so can talk. Brother Martins, God will bless you. This means that I am I cannot pay for my daughter's hospital bills. Brother Martins. Brother Martins, you don't know how you have saved me. Thank you so much. God will bless you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Why are we praying to if you don't help ourselves? Right. Just cut away from me, okay? Thank you. Thank it you. is well with you. Thank you. I'll make sure you see me later. I will. It's important. I will. By the time we are through with this medication, I think she will feel better. Excuse me.
solution now. Well, the shock was too much for her to bear. The life-saving device did not work either. I'm sorry, we lost her. Administrator, and you know I'll do anything, anything within my capacity. I have serious financial problems, sir. I want you to give me a loan. I'll repay at the end of the month, sir. No. Amadi, the same Bible we read says that he who does not work should not eat. Now, how do you want to give him money? When other workers put more effort to make money for this hospital than you. I don't understand you. In fact, I disagree with you, sir. <laughs> I have been this hospital's administrator for over four years, and I believe that I have put in my best in terms of work here. Mr. Madi, I know you've been the administrator, but you've not considered putting in extra time after close of uh, this work. I know how busy this hospital is. During our peak and uh, emergency periods, you find yourself in one church meeting or activities. But uh, you, you must understand that. Uh, it's... See, see, forget your butt. Just last time, Mr. Madi, last time, the other day, just the other day, you were not around to approve the necessary facilities the doctor needed to carry out an a surgical operation. Just too bad. Too bad we lost a patient. You see, I have enough money here, but I won't give you a couple. In that case, why don't you approve 50% of my salary so that I'll use I that and... See, I won't even do that. I will pay you at the end of the month. I'll pay your salary. You can leave my office. I have other official matters to attend to. Please, you may leave. Second of a graph of 50,000 naira. Yes, sir. Well, we are not new to this bank's procedures. What do we use as a collateral? Well, sir, I would like you to help me, really, because I'm in a very tight situation here. Don't forget that I'm not a new person, you know, with, with your bank. Virtually all I have is gone. But then I can use my car as a collateral. It's a pity we can't give you an overdraft to based on the condition of the account. We can't use that as a collateral. Sir, please help me. My wife is in hospital. I need this money to pay the bills and other expenses. I'm promising you right now that I'll get Mr. you this Hardy, money. I quite understand your plight and also sympathize with your situation. I wish your car was in a better condition to serve for your purpose. So... What do you want me to do now? Sorry, I can't hear you. 
Let me see, excuse me. Where you got the money to fix your car and pay for my hospital bills? Oh, um, I uh, I borrowed some money from my friend Emeko Koe. Oh, mm. that's very nice of him. Oh, he's very kind. God will surely bless him in Jesus' name. Amen. God will certainly bless him. Amen. Now you relax. Now you're back home. I'll get you some food. Simple enough. Every day. It is? Mm. Well, that's that's to your credit. I, I watch you every time you cook, so mm -hmm. I keep learning from you. Mm. I'm glad you enjoy it. Mm. Please drink some water. Thank you. Oh, what? It's 
it's a pity that you lost your, your child. Chioma. I received my heartfelt sympathy. Thank you very much, Brother Martins. Actually, that's why I came here. I came to thank you for uh, assisting me when I was in great need. I appreciate it. My brother, uh, <laughs> you don't have to emphasize on, on this issue of me giving you some money. If you had just congratulated me for the fact that I showed you the secret to be a successful businessman, I would have appreciated it better. Hmm? But, uh, Brother Martins, what exactly do you mean by the secrets of uh, successful business? Good. You see, in every business, there is a secret. Call it a doctor, a lawyer, a contractor, a banker, even a businessman. Need some tint of insight in that profession he or she is practicing. But Paul, you need an insight. Inside. I'm going to teach you how to fish. I'm not to give you fish. So that you will not borrow all the days of your life. Brother Martins, I want to thank you and I want to let you know that I will want my financial status to appreciate from this low level to a higher level. And please help me, I beg you. Help me. Well, every aspiring successful businessman need to take some level of risk. If you can take the risk of listening to me, I'm going to teach you how to fish. Please, Brother Martins, can we start now? I am ready. <laughs> Can we just start now? No worry. Until the time comes. Hmm? Okay. I should be on my way. of every member, even in the dark. Our perfect master is a jealous God.
This is your precious stone. It symbolizes your wealth. It glows until your end. Martin, give him the covenant. For Legion, today you have entered into a covenant with the precious cloud. All that needs will be revealed to you in due course. This hospital can no longer tolerate your unpatriotic attitude towards work. How do you mean, sir? I don't understand. Last night, we had an emergency. I tried dialing your number, but your phone was switched off. I wanted you to come and approve and release the necessary apparatus the doctor needs for surgical operations. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Actually, I was in church. That's why I switched off my phone. I didn't mean to embarrass you or the management. I'm sorry, sir. Please. In the church. You're sacking me? So, what have I done to deserve this sack? What have I done? Sir, please remember and consider all the years that I have labored for this hospital, please. You see, Mr. Madi, the Bible said that what a man sows, he shall reap. Then go to the church and collect your salary there. Go to the church and collect your salary there. Secretary, it's not I believe a meeting in hell. Don't take care of the office. Come on, let's go with me now. It's not delivery. Please, please, please. I'm doing the meeting, okay? Let's go. You can see. I'm doing the meeting. Mr. Madi, please, please, please. Come on. Move. I know you are always 
watching the film, isn't it? <laughs> so how was your day? Oh well, we thank God. Now I want everyone to go get dressed up. I want to take you all out. Yes. Only yes. have already prepared lunch. Darling, lunch can wait. I have something very special for you. And I'm sure it's something you're going to like. Hmm? You know I don't like surprises. They make me feel somehow uncomfortable. Or oh, you're joking. Darling, cross my heart. Hmm? I know it's something you're going to like. <laughs> hey, ma. Okay. Come on. Hey, ma, hurry up. Get me out. Dad is waiting. Come on, let's go. Oh. Shall we? I'm scared. This is our new house. What? I bought it a few days back. <laughs> and I I don't want you to bring any scrap from that old house to this home. Because everything that you require is here. So, so Daddy, the landlord will not embarrass us again and throw in my food. The landlord, not at all, because we are now our own landlord. <laughs> Please tell me you are joking. What about the cars? The cars that you see around here, everything belongs to us. Okay. <laughs> Darling, yes. I want you to look over there. You see that machine over there? That machine belongs to you. Yes. Yes. is too much for you, okay? You mean a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Now go and get your bag and let's go inside. Alright. Father, you said that the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I pray that you cleanse our sins in the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says that you are my shepherd and I shall not want. But Father, right now I am in serious want. I am in very terrible need. Father, I am starving and dying of hunger. I lost my job, God, because of my service to you, my creator. Lord, how long? For how long will those who worship you in spirit and in truth continue to suffer? Father, how long? Look upon us with mercy. Lord, look upon us with mercy and turn our situation around. Amen. Go Father, on. turn our... Amen. Honey. Honey. Somebody's that. Please. 
Yes, please see who is at the door. Hold on. Please come in. You're welcome. Thank you. Sit down. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> welcome. Thank you. John, you know why I'm here? Well, I forgot to collect my money. Remember, I promised to pay back in two weeks' time. So, what happened? Yes. I remember that I promised to pay back in two weeks. But, unfortunately, I won't be able to pay you now. And Mecca, I lost my job, and since then things have been difficult for us. But I'll do something. Give me till this weekend. Let me run around and see what I what? can get this weekend. Look, I'm not going to leave here empty-handed. If you don't have money to pay now, then I'll pick a crotter that worth my money. Mecca, don't do this to me. Please, don't do this to me. We are supposed to be friends. I know. Look kindly to my situation and have mercy on me. What situation are you talking about? Hold on. See who I'm seeing. Donito. What brings you to my office, Donito? Long time. Huh? Come and sit down. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. You have a very nice office. Thank you very much. Why is it? What do I offer you? Oh, well, anything. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let me get you something that you like. Your coming calls for celebration. <laughs> uh, it's been ages since we last saw. Yes, yes. It's almost um, five years now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. You need to. these days that I hardly find time to attend. But all the same, uh, let's know why you came to see me. You see, Brother Paul, 
I'm here to see how you can help me in my present predicament. I have lost all that I had, even my job. You won't believe this, but right now I don't even have any money to feed. That's why I'm here. You see what I'm talking about? Why don't you ask God to send you manna from heaven? Hmm? You see? One needs to work hard. Anyway, all that will be sorted out very soon. I want you to take this uh, 20,000 naira for your transport. And I'd like you to come see me in two weeks' time. Hmm? See me in two weeks, and I will help you by teaching you how to make good money, if only you will listen. I'm ready to listen. What is the way? When you come back in two weeks' time. You are giving me 20,000 naira just like that. God will bless you. Thank you so much, brother. I, I appreciate it. Yes, don't forget, two weeks' time. I will, I will see you. I'm happy to see you. It's been a long time. Yes. Johnny! <laughs> contribution and progress shown to this community. I, Igwe or has remained one of his simple confer on you chief tenancy title of Ohamadike one of his simple. Ohamadike oh, oh, 
and you, his wife, I confer on you the title of Lord Law Ahamadike One of his people. Oh. My wife and I wish to thank all of you for finding time to grace the occasion of our chieftain's installation. I wish to state categorically that we are ready to serve in the building and rebuilding of Ishikwa community. Ishikwa Kweno! Ishikwa Bano! What else can I say? For all that you have done, for the confidence that you have reposed in us, we shall not let you down. I want to say that education, free education, free education, free education at all levels. I want to say free education at all levels will be our primary goal. It's a quaqueno. It's a quarriano. And that more care will be given to all widows and all motherless babies in the Chikwa community. It's a quabano. It's a quazuano. I want to thank particularly the Igwe of our community and his cabinet and all my friends in the diaspora who have found time to attend and particular to the Chikwa community who have shown so much kindness and love. We will never let you down. It's a good no. I, Chief Paul Ejim, Ahamadike one of the Shinko, have spoken. Let me have music. Come on, give me music. Let me have music.
Yeah, what are the I don't like that tiny one over there. She looks like a ghost. <laughs> and as for this one, even though she looks pretty, but um, I don't like her eyes. <laughs> I don't like her eyes because uh, she could be a water spirit. I don't want you. And boss, these are the best girls around. You didn't give us enough time to arrange for more better ones. No, I don't think so. I think I, I rather prefer these other two. Hmm? I wonder. All Bring right, boss. Destiny is in your hands. Grab it and liberate yourself from this shackle of poverty. I'm afraid I don't understand. You remember I was once a laborer in the Lord's household. Yes. I prayed and fasted for years, asking God to give me wealth. I waited patiently, but it never came to pass. But when I asked the perfect master to give me money, he blessed me bountifully. What are you talking about? What I am saying is that God does not give money to everybody. And that is why the Bible says in Romans chapter 9 verse 15, I will have mercy on those that I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on those that I will have compassion. Meaning that God only blesses those people whom he has destined to be rich right from their birth. But the perfect master gives money to all that care. Remember, heaven helps those who help themselves. An opportunity comes but once in a man's lifetime. So this is why you invited me. You want me to renounce my faith and love for God for material things? Come on, come on, John. Come on, what are you talking about? Remember your trials, your temptations, all the insults that you have been through. And I am promising you that all that will come to pass if only you can reconsider my offer. And it's not as dangerous as you think. Now look at me. Am I not happily married with a son? My dear John, give your life a facelift and you will never regret it. Do you think it will work? <laughs> Do I think it will work? <laughs> Come on and let's go. I promise you will never regret it. What's the matter? I don't know. The car suddenly stopped. I don't know what's, what the problem is. Uh, well, it's unfortunate uh, that your car has developed a fault. But all the same, let us um, ride in my car. I don't think I can continue with this journey. This car has never been able to wave this way before. This is bad on me. 
John, you cannot be a disappointment. You don't have to be a coward by trying to check it out. It's getting dark and the party starts at 7. I can't continue with this journey. This sign is a bad sign for me. Maybe next time. Let me know what I'm going to do with this car. John, what's the problem with you? I've told my friends about you. Let us go. Next Let's ride in my car. I'll meet your friends next time. Huh? You can start the party. Go ahead. Next time I'll see you. Boys, Sir. bundle him into, into my car. Huh? Bundle who? I've just told you that I don't want to go again. Is it, is it by force? Go and meet your friends when when next time we will. Wait, put me down. Listen. my voice to give you my complimentary card. Really? Uh, what's your name? My name is Candy. Oh, Candy? Yeah. You look every inch Candy. Really? <laughs> Thank you. I, I love this hips, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh come on. Ah.
Chief, what are we doing here? Oh, well, you are such a beautiful lady that I want to give a special treat later. But for now, I want to change your wardrobe. So let's get inside. Thank you. After you. Welcome, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like? like yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Make your choice. Anything you want here. Let's pick them. Fine, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. And um, how is your husband? He's fine, sir. Where are you going? I'm going to the market, sir. I hope you don't mind if we drop you off. <laughs> no, sir. I'm almost there. Okay. Um, um, take this and support it with whatever I intend to buy at the market, okay? Thank you, sir. And that's all. No bless you, sir. No problem. Um, by the way, I am trying to see what I can do to assist your husband in his financial crisis. But he seems to be reluctant. Uh, why not advise him? Huh? All right, sir. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, sir. Is it? Who are you quarreling with? I'm quarreling with you. I'm quarreling with you because you want me to continue suffering in your house. What's the matter with you? What's your problem? I should be the one asking you that. What is your problem? Eh? What's your problem, John Amadi? What is your problem? I want to know. Look, I'm tired of reading the Bible, fasting and praying without any positive answers. I'm tired. How can Paul offer to assist you and you foolishly refused? How? I can't understand. Oh my God. How did you know these things? I ran into him and he told me everything. <sighs> Darling, he can't tell you everything. I mean, he couldn't have told you everything. Listen, there are things you do not understand now. And you won't understand them. What did he tell you about me? I don't much. No, he gave me some money. And that was the money I used in buying those things. You what? Eh? You... Alright. Okay, but next time, don't accept money, any gift at all from Paul. Do you understand that? Why? I'm just told it. Don't accept anything, anything at all from Paul.
getting here? I gave you some gift. Now, I want you to show some appreciation. How do you mean? I want to make love to you. This is payback time. You can't. I'm not for you. I must. You can't. I can't. I Management considered your performance in our last interview satisfactory. Oh, thank you, madam. I'm glad to hear that. So, you are expected to resume work on Monday as the new hospital administrator. Wow. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, madam. I, I really appreciate this offer and I'll do my best. Mr. Amadi, you have to work hard to prove your mettle in this hospital. Some of our workers here lack discipline. I look up to you to instill discipline in this hospital. I will, madam. You can be rest assured that I will, to the best of my ability, by the grace of God. Once more, Mr. Amani. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. I'm grateful. Bye-bye. of service in this one is far better than the one I left behind. Jesus, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I'm so happy I feel like I'm here. I'm even happier. The Lord has done more for us. Uh, how, how do you mean? What, what's going on? I'm about three months pregnant. You're what? <laughs> you didn't tell me all this why. I wanted it to be a surprise to you. What a surprise, my dear. Oh my God. Come inside, let me show you that's what she wants. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, 
join me in welcoming the most beautiful, sexy, Aww. pretty, Aww. chief celebrant, Miss Candy Annecy. <laughs> so much to eat and drink, so just make yourself comfortable and relax. Thank you. Sweetheart Candy. Sweetheart, come over here. Yeah, what else can she be asking for? What else can she ask for than to have these wonderful people, distinguished personalities, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to attend this special occasion, to jubilate and to gyrate with her on this epoch making event? I am grateful. I want to thank you for finding time to attend, to come and grace this occasion. I, I wish to make this special birthday present to my darling, to my sweet girl, to my pretty lady with keen sense of beauty and decency. A model by Salon Candy. I wish to present her with this outfit. of you here in the course of duty here, so I'm not a new person here. But a new, happy development necessitates the fact that I have to reintroduce myself. I would also like to know you all one by one, by names, because very soon we are going to be friends. Thank you. I am a robot in Kenji, simply known as Bob. I read Medical lab technology. Oh, You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I am Emmanuel Mosisi, Emmy for short. I'm the hospital's uh, accountant. I am 
I'm not Cynthia. You're welcome. Thank you. And I'm Glory, sir. Glory. My name is Azul. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Okay. I'm not Leticia. You're very much welcome, sir. Leticia, you're welcome. I am not Monica. We're happy to have you, sir. Thank you. I am not Rhoda. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is John Amadi, your new hospital administrator. I believe that you are unaware of the new rules and regulations put forward by the hospital administration. I would like each and every one of us to abide by these rules and regulations so that we move this beautiful establishment forward. Child trafficking is a crime, is despicable. In recent times, we've had instances of child trafficking all over the country. Babies, newborn babies disappearing from their cots in hospitals. We don't want the good image of this hospital tarnished by members of staff who have been involved in such despicable acts. Abortion is murder. And we all know the commandment, thou shalt not kill. So anyone here who is discovered aiding or abating abortion will not only be summarily dismissed from this institution, but we will make sure now that individual faces the full wrath of the law. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir, please, how do we get to know your friends? Oh, that is simple. We will be each other's watchdog, you know, be our brother's king. Let us all join hands together to make sure that the reputation of this beautiful institution is not dragged to the mud in any way or form. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank, Thank you. you. Where on earth did the medical director discover this fellow? He has been shadowing us with his rigid church doctrines and principles. John came into this hospital to destroy our long time business. He has even virtually closed all avenues that gives us money. The worst part of the whole thing is that he is very uncompromising. But to tell you the truth, that man is a true born again Christian. If he likes, he can be born before, I don't care. Look, we cannot fold our hands and watch him destroy our means of survival. We have to do something. But what do we do? What do we do? We have to teach him a lesson that he will never forget. Flopsy, babe. 
So this seems to be the happiest day of my life. I mean, when Paul introduced me as the director of that eatery joint. Eh? Hm, baby, that man is truly in love with you. But you know what? what? You must endeavor to keep all these riffraffs of him, especially this underage on, um, student, Humphrey. Hm. You have to do something about him. Forget Humphrey. Just know that I'll kill anybody that trespasses. Yes. Candy. Yes. Do what? Kill somebody because of chief? You want to soil your hands with blood? Flaunty, look, I don't care. I don't want anybody to jeopardize this relationship, okay? Paul is my life. I want to go to bed and keep dreaming of him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Flaunty, excuse me, okay? I'll be right back. Paul, this poor dance. We're not here because of this, your poor. Come and have me. My daughter's condition is critical. We need urgent attention. Please. By the way, I'm Chief John Ama. Oh, the commissioner for Lance and Sunday are correct. She needs immediate attention. Please. I think I can handle the, uh, the situation myself. Okay, do that. I'll be very grateful. I will personally watch you. Do you understand? Please. What seems to be the situation here? His daughter is critically sick. I see. All right, you go back to the lab and continue with your work. Uh, sir? Yeah. Please come with me. Uh, That's nurse, right. direct them accordingly where to take her. Please come. on our deal. How do you mean? The commissioner's daughter was brought into this hospital when the doctors were busy in the theater. As I tried to register and admit them, admit the patients, John came and ordered me back to the lab and took over. You, you don't mean it? Look, something has to happen. John's wings have to be clipped. This is our opportunity. I don't understand what you're up to. We have to invite Mike and Danger. Do you now understand the riddle? I think I do. 
Yeah, come in. Hey, for me, roll up. Dangerous. <laughs> hey, my man. Dangerous. Let go. Miko, I bet when I call back, uh, yeah. Yeah. Can I know if there's a cafe? Miko, I'm sorry, it's alright. I'm not there with us. Yeah. 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 The commissioner's daughter is down with flu. Oh, yeah? And right now, she's lying critically ill in our hospital. So? Hospital. I don't understand. What do you want? That girl has to disappear. And reappear after the payment of a ransom. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we all need the money, or don't we? Money is good. So let's get down to business. Five million naira for a pretty face like that is not a bad deal. Wait a minute. Did I hear you say five million? Biko, five million is a deal. Is a deal. Come on. Then we are in for business. Biko, is a deal. Guys, what do you think? <laughs> so guys, let's know what's up. Nah, yeah. Oh wow. I mean, we're in for business. <laughs> Big time. We oh, know what? It's a giant dollar. Damn. All right, guys. This is 10,000 Naira. That's the inducement. I want you guys to do a neat job. And when the ransom is paid, we split. 50. 50. <laughs> That's what? Nico, I trust you, I trust you, I trust you. Well, this why I know you're not, but let's get things started. So, guys, nice. nice. all right. Ah, it's a deal. <laughs> it's a okay. Right. Hey, oh, dangerous. I will do it very right nice. No, I can count on you guys. Trust us. Let's well, give us every treat. Mm. We'll see you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. See you later. Sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Sorry. Hello? Oh, Commissioner, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We're almost through. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I know you. You know me. Oh God. This hospital is a wonderful place. Oh, thank you. A nurse. You people helped me some time ago. Really? When my uncle was sick and he was brought in here in a coma. And the good Lord did a miraculous work on me. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, you are Mr. Call me Mike. Mike? Yes. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you very much. So I, I came to show my little appreciation, especially those of you on night duty. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, I have to take you to North Roda. She is in charge tonight. Oh. 
That would be nice. Thank you. Should I come with you? Yeah. I like liked him since. In short, since that man stepped his legs into this hospital, everything has changed. He's well organized. Yeah. He's disciplined. Yeah. Very neat. Everything. If he continues this way in the next yeah. 10 years, people are going to about this hospital. It's going to be one of the best that is hospitals in this hospital. Yeah. That is it. That is it. Ah, ah, yeah. No problem. No problem. Thank you. No problem. Here is Mr. Mike, a good Samaritan, and I think he has something to say. Say, good Samaritan. Go ahead. But it's not much. Just that I came to show an appreciation for a favor done to me some months ago. Favor? Yeah. Yes. His uncle was admitted here some months ago, and he was well treated. So he's here to show appreciation. Mm -hmm. Well, nurses. Please manage this part with sum of 20,000 naira for now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please allow me to run along for other things. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You had him say 50,000. That would cost some of money. I'm very tired. I'm counting it already. Wait, wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. What is going on here? Huh? What are you all doing here? No, Cynthia. What are you doing here? Leaving your position vacant. The reception. The emergency unit of the hospital. The first impression that any person coming here will, will, will have. You left it vacant. I'm sorry. I came to collect reports from North Rhoda. What North report Rhoda. are you collecting? If this dereliction of duty occurs one more time, it will end you serious query, and if care is not taken, we will relieve you of your duties here. Now, out. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, Ms. Asuka, what report are you collecting? Mm. No, sir, I just came to ask if she has the key to the nurse's room. Since when did you nurses start collecting the keys to the nurse's room one by one? And keeping them to yourselves? I thought there is a central place where the keys to the nurse's room are kept for everybody to see and use. Do you have the keys to the nurse's room? Mm -hmm. Sir. I gave it to nurse Charity. You heard her. Now out. So, your duty post now is uh, a place for Sovereign National Conference of Nurses. By the way, what was that money you were counting on? Anyway, if this repeats itself one more time, You don't have to be partial about it, Chief. <laughs> now, wait a minute. When you say us, who and who exactly do you mean? You know what I mean, Chief. Now. You know. <laughs> anyway, I must confess that uh, the first time I met you at um, Candy's birthday party, you were such an intelligent, clever, sissy, sassy, sexy young girl. <laughs> <laughs> I want to promise you that uh, as long as you are ready to play ball, 
I am ready to ah, score the goal. Ah, Chief. <laughs> what else do you want me to do? Hmm. We've made love twice, and I'm still here in your hotel suit. Eh, Chief? The ball is still in your court. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I'm happy to hear that. Anyway, I want you to get ready by the end of the month. I intend to travel out with you. I will certainly travel with you to the Caribbean islands where oh, we are Chief. surely going to have some fun. Hey, mm. Chief. Thank oh. you, Chief. Thank you. Uh, it's all right. Thank you, Chief. Come on, baby. I can't wait to have some more fun. <laughs> yeah, Chief. to receive my containers. That what? She means you can run away with my money? No, 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 no. This is unbelievable. That man has beaten more than he can chew. And I promise you, I am going to deal with him. What nonsense is this? According to my doctor, my blood pressure is gradually rising. What, what is happening to me? And now Chief Ezuka has run away with my millions? There must be something wrong somewhere. There certainly must be something wrong somewhere. Perfect master says that you have defiled yourself. You've slept with a girl that is not born of a woman. My lord, all the girls I sleep with are real and genuine. I can't sleep with a ghost, a mermaid, or an obanje. Set yourself, Paul. Tell Flopsy to show you her mother. She may tell you the truth you need to know. You should search for the truth. that night. Weren't you? <laughs> yes, we are. You swear to me, we are all night to see that night. When the man just walked in and gave us some money, even our officer administrator was around. Uh? <laughs> yes, officer. <laughs> Mr. John, he was with us. He was even on my sheet that night. Mr. John? Yes. Come on, go inside here and write your statement. <laughs> Criminals! Yes, come in. Good day, sir. Good day, gentlemen. You are Mr. John Amadi, the hospital administrator, aren't you? Yes, I am. How may I help you? We are from the state CID. Oh. And your attention is needed at the police station. Me? Why? I mean, what have I done? 
kidnap case involving your hospital has been lodged at the police station. So your attention is highly needed. A kidnap case involving this hospital? Yes. All right, uh, just give me a minute. Hello? Yeah, there are some gentlemen here, two gentlemen actually, who say that they are from the state CID. They say there's a case of uh, kidnapping or something like that preferred against our hospital, so my attention is needed as the administrator. Please tell the medical director that I've gone with these two gentlemen to the CID. Yes. All right, I'll soon be back. Well, gentlemen, shall we? Well, madam, I sent for you. And um, I want you to tell me the truth. I am interested in your daughter, Flozia. But I want to know if you are her real mother. Flonzi is my daughter. Her father could have been here to attest to this fact, if not that. You see, madam, I am prepared to do everything humanly possible to find out the truth. From all inquiries that I have made, I was told that you Adopted Floxy. Is that correct? Me? Yes. Adopted Floxy? Yes. God forbid. I gave birth to her through a caesarean oppression. My son, go and tell anybody that is feeding you with these lies to go to hell. Now, mother, did I hear you say caesarean oppression? Yes, I almost died. The doctors operated on me, removed her, and kept her in the incubator till the night months. I know, I understand, madam. I understand. Calm down. That will be all for now. You may go back. I'm sorry about that. I will send for you. Madam. That's for your. Stop telling me about God. 
Is it not the same God that you and I serve? Okay. Now that you are in trouble, why don't you ask him to come and help you? Why? John, you are my friend, and no matter what happens, you will continue to be my friend. And I just pray and wish that one day you will come back from your senses. Paul, come back from your senses. Paul, where is your faith? Where is your faith, Paul? Where is your faith? all the things you've been doing for her. Chief, I must tell you this. Candy is the most ungrateful lady I've ever seen. Now, what exactly are you talking about and what do you mean? Chief, as I'm speaking to you now, Candy is making an arrangement with her boyfriend, her school lover, to sell off all the things you bought for her and to use the process to travel abroad. That small, pompous boyfriend of hers wants to reap where he did not sow. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. I know for sure that Candy cannot afford to share me with another man. That's the truth. Chief, you're then asking for a proof. Um, excuse me, please. Can you now leave my office, please? Yeah, can you leave? Leave okay, Chief. But think about it. Um, for your, for your taxi. Thank you, Chief. But I still insist. Think about it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I will not come to you, but I promise you, your days are not much.
This is Terror Twist calling. Do comply to avoid making mistakes. Please, what can I do for you? I want my daughter alive. I will do everything for you, anything at all. Just name it. Name whatever you want me to do for you. Now you're talking. Bring the sum of five million naira to Abuka Junction tonight. Drop it and leave it there. If you play games, sir, if you play games, we'll make life very difficult for you. Good day. Hello? 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 Christ, what is it? This family has been passing through a lot of troubles. The death of his three children at the same time. After that, his father came visiting. On his way back home, the father died in an accident. As if that was not enough for the devil, but John was invited home by his kinsmen, and they forced him to go through rituals, which he succumbed just to prove his innocence. But John, on coming back to the city, faced another problem. He was accused of aiding and abetting the kidnap of the commissioner's daughter. Can you imagine that? Some believe him. I'm sure this is the strategies of the devil. He has come to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But John's wife is here to join us in today's prayer. Remember that the Bible says we are not fighting against flesh and blood. But we are fighting against principalities and powers, the rulers of darknesses and the spiritual wickednesses in high places. And the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. Today, we will fight through prayers, and God will surely hear us. Amen. If you believe, you say amen. Amen. I will allow John's wife here, Sister Lizzie, to add one or two things before we pray. Sister Lizzie. Pastor had said it all. All I want you brothers to know is that my husband is innocent of all these accusations. Pastor, I also want you to pray for me so that I will have safe delivery and I have the energy and strength to take care of my baby. That's all I have to say, Pastor. Be strong, Sister Lisa. Brethren, we have no time to waste. We have to begin to pray immediately because I believe that the God of heaven must hear us tonight. Amen. He's a mighty man in battle. you are a mighty man in battle.
quite unfortunate that you have to go through this mess as your service to humanity. We are sincerely sorry for this whole incident. We are sincerely sorry. Um, Mr. Martin, after a thorough investigation, we found out that your colleagues in the hospital are the perpetrators of this unholy crime. They arranged with these criminals to frame you up. How? Yes, Mr. Amadi. It was Emmanuel and Robert who actually arranged for the kidnap of the commissioner's daughter. These are the men who broke into the hospital ward and took away the sick girl. God, 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 Lord, my Redeemer, glorify your name. I thank you, God. Hey! Okay, we are indeed very sorry for everything so far. Madam, you can go with him. Once again, Mr. Amadi. We are sincerely sorry. Anyway, a surprise awaits you after you must have paid. Let's go. This is the young man. Young man, we are aware of the experiences you passed through for a crime you never committed. The state government has decided to compensate you. From now on, you cease to be a hospital administrator. I hereby appoint you as my special advisor on health matters. I have not forgotten how you saved my daughter from those criminals. Your God is alive. Please continue to worship and serve him. What's more, congratulations. Congratulations. Mr. Madi, come with me. has defiled himself. He had found the truth himself. Paul, are you ready to cleanse yourself of this atrocity? My lord, I am ready. Then bring your son. His blood will be used for the cleansing. My son? My son, Nima? My, my lord, is there no other way out? Then prepare yourself and get ready to embark on the journey yourself. There you will worship with the master. Are you ready, Paul? My lord, I am ready to offer myself that my son 
ในลีListen to my advice and stop attending all those church activities, okay? Uh, that, but why? Why? Because it never gives you time to look into my business. You never care to monitor what happens to any of my companies. Darling, Ima is still a boy. I mean, time for such involvement in your line of business is here to come. It's not late. Darling. Darling, you're a woman. If anything happens to me now, can he take care of my business? Dad, nothing is going to happen to you. And very soon I'll become a big boy and help you take care of your business. That's my boy. That's my boy. Now I want you to take care of yourself and take care of your mommy while I'm away. Mm? Yes, Dad. Be a good boy to your mommy. Yes, Dad. Darling, you miss your flight. That's okay. I want you to take care of yourself. Uh, take care of your mom. I'll be back soon. Yeah. I know this is a good boy. see my presentation. I was receiving standing ovation all through. I trust. So how are you? I'm fine as you can see. Okay. <laughs> oh! What is, what is it? Uh, are you okay? The baby. The baby? Take you straight to the hospital right now. Don't worry. 
just relax. Eat your dinner. Maybe when you're done with the dinner, we can go to the hospital. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Because I, I don't really know anything about. Oh. <laughs> I don't want you to have this baby at home. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Do I then carry you? <laughs> oh, stop. Okay. Let me let me pick your drinks. Um, so. uh, uh, let's go. Okay. Jesus.
The Bible says that children are gifts from God. And the gift of God make it rich and added no so. Amen. If you believe, you say amen. 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 All right. Our brother. Yeah. Our brother, please help our sister with that. That's good. Amen. Are you happy? Yes. Why not stand up with us as we rejoice on to the Lord? We are going to pray for these children first. And after that, I'm going to lay hands upon this brother and his wife. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these children. The Bible says that children are inheritance from God. And they are good gifts from you. I pray that these children will live and be a blessing to their family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We come against every plan of the devil upon their lives and we cover them in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Have your way in their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. And we bless Brother John, the wife, and the entire family. We pray that from today, henceforth, they will live a victorious life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I have seen the Lord goodness, his mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord goodness, his mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh. I have seen the Lord goodness, his mercies and compassion. Real